The A3 e-tron isn't like other hybrids on the road. It's the sportiness and luxury you expect from Audi with the benefits of a plug-in electric hybrid. And the 2017 A3 e-tron has numerous changes from the previous model that further accentuate that difference. The single-frame grille is wider and features sharper contours. The available LED headlights are flatter with distinctive outer contours, while the redesigned taillights feature available dynamic turn signals. Numerous 17, 18, and 19-inch wheel options offer more levels of customization. The A3 e-tron can run on electric-only power for an EPA-estimated 16 miles, suitable for urban commutes. But sport mode is where the A3 e-tron shines, combining the electric motor with a 1.4-liter engine for a total 204 horsepower, giving a noticeable boost in sporty performance. The MMI has been completely redesigned and now has a more simplified and elegant layout. The A3 now allows for direct smartphone connection with standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration. Simply plug in and the MMI becomes an extension of your compatible phone's connected capabilities. The available Bang & Olufsen sound system has 14 speakers and 705 watts of power, setting a new standard for sound. The available virtual cockpit, with its 12.3-inch display, renders a beautiful instrument cluster that moves at 60 frames per second, thanks to the NVIDIA quad-core processor. Classic mode offers a crisp and clear view of the traditional speedometer and tachometer, while infotainment mode minimizes the classic gauges in favor of navigation, e-tron-specific information, and other visuals. With available driver assistance systems, the new A3 e-tron raises the bar of drive technology in the premium compact segment yet again. Available active lane assist helps keep the car in lane with gentle steering guidance. Standard presense front can provide forward collision warning and automatic emergency partial braking when a front moving or stationary hazard is detected. Available rear cross traffic assist helps the driver when reversing out of a perpendicular parking space. The available adaptive cruise control with stop and go feature helps maintain a preset distance to the vehicle in front and can help stop or accelerate the A3 according to traffic conditions. Audi Connect for compatible smartphones allows for remote vehicle status, including battery level, charge times, and climate controls, as well as integrated 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot capability. A new standard for luxury has been set in this class. The 2017 Audi A3 e-tron. The A3 e-tron plug-in hybrid electric vehicle gives you the freedom to drive fuel-free on shorter trips, while the gasoline engine allows longer journeys when desired. Transitioning from all-electric driving to hybrid power to all-gasoline power automatically. You can select a driving mode, electric, hybrid, or battery hold by depressing the EV switch on the center dash panel. You can switch modes while driving. The modes will display in the driver information system and in the optional MMI Navigation Plus display. In EV mode, the e-tron starts the vehicle in electric power only and remains in electric power mode unless the gas engine is required for driver to bands. As long as the battery has a charge, EV mode is the default mode and is best in city and stop and go driving or relatively short distances. When the battery becomes discharged, the e-tron switches to gas power. Hybrid mode offers combined electric and gas engine power with the system managing which power source is best for the conditions. In battery hold mode, the e-tron will use the gas engine exclusively to retain the charge in the battery. In both hybrid and battery hold modes, the gas engine may turn off at full stops to maximize fuel economy. When you're going down hills or when you take your foot off the accelerator at highway speeds, the combustion engine may shut off, the transmission decouples, and the e-tron coasts using no energy sources. For the best fuel economy, your mode strategy will vary depending on driving conditions but there are some operating characteristics that you should be aware of. 
Selecting Sport while in EV mode will automatically switch the system to battery hold mode and activate the gasoline engine. Pushing the accelerator to the floor while in EV mode will engage the gasoline engine for greater acceleration at higher speeds. The e-tron will then remain in battery hold mode unless you switch back to EV mode. You can monitor instantaneous power consumption with the power meter. While in the car menu in the virtual cockpit, press the right control button. Scroll to left dial. Select power meter and the left side gauge will show the relative amount of power being consumed at any given time. You can also select a combined power meter and tachometer gauge. When the e-tron is off, the power meter is in the off position. When ignition is on, the power meter moves to the ready position. When you drive carefully at lower speeds, the power meter stays in the 0 to 30% power range. With the gas engine running at higher speeds, the power meter will be in the 30% to 100% range. Hard accelerating, requiring the power of the gasoline engine combined with the torque of the electric motor, pushes the power meter above 100% into boost mode. When you release your foot from the accelerator and begin braking, the power meter moves into charge mode as the vehicle generates electricity to send back to the battery. When the vehicle is stationary, there is no energy flow. When vehicle regeneration is occurring, the flow of the power is from the wheels to the battery. If you are driving in EV mode, the flow of power is from the battery to the wheels. When the vehicle is being powered by the gasoline engine, the flow of power goes from the combustion engine to the wheels. Or if it's charging the battery as well, the flow is from the combustion engine to the wheels and to the battery. To view the onboard computer or energy flow indicator in models without the virtual cockpit, select the vehicle menu. Then scroll down to select the information you would like to have displayed in the driver information system. On the standard instrument cluster, the power meter is a fixed gauge. To display a tachometer, use the arrows to select the car function. Press the menu button on the steering wheel, then scroll and select tachometer, which will now be displayed. And if you would like to see a map with a radius of your potential electric range, press the right control button while a navigation map is displayed. Choose map settings, map display, and electric range. This will now display a range of approximately how far you can go on your current battery charge in EV mode. The driving mode efficiency of the A3 e-tron lets you choose the way the vehicle uses power to get you where you want to go, putting the power of choice in your hands. The ability to manage battery charging is an important aspect of A3 e-tron ownership, and it's easy to do using the MMI. The Audi A3 e-tron, Connect mobile app, or the web page. Let's first look at using the MMI controls. From the main menu, select Vehicle to enter Drive Select. Press the left control button. Now scroll and select Charge from the menu. There are two default timers that can be edited. You can change a timer that is boxed in red by pressing the right control button. Select Program Timer. You can now set a schedule for vehicle charging. First, select the timer type, either individual or repeat, for reoccurring charging events on a regular schedule. Now, choose the criteria for your timing schedule, beginning with days of the week. You may want to use different timers for weekdays and weekends, for example. Press the back button to return to the selection criteria. Now, select your departure time. This will affect the activation time of electric air conditioning if selected. You can select a date for your individual timer events. You cannot set a date for repeat events. The preferred charging time can be set to take advantage of off-peak electricity pricing. Charging times may vary depending on the voltage of your charging system, ambient temperature, and other variables. By selecting electric air conditioning, the cabin will be cooled or heated prior to the set departure time, 
saving vehicle battery usage for driving. Once your criteria are set, press the back button, scroll to select the timer you wish to be active, and press the control button to set the timer. A check mark will appear in the box, indicating timer readiness. You can also schedule auxiliary air conditioning to adjust cabin temperature when the vehicle is not connected to a charge. From the main menu, select Vehicle to enter Drive Select. Press the left control button, then scroll to Auxiliary Air Conditioning. You can now set a timer in the same way as the charge timer. You can also set timers using the Audi A3 e-tron Connect application from the Apple iTunes Store or the Google Play Store on their compatible device. The app has a number of other functions, including vehicle locator, status of door locks, lights, trip data, and so on. You can also set and control charging timers from the web at etron.audiusa.com. An account number and four-digit PIN are provided by the dealership and are required for login, and the account must be verified using a code sent to their primary email or phone number. Once logged into the mobile app, select the vehicle. As with the MMI controls, you now determine your start and end time. Whether this is a reoccurring schedule and what days to use this schedule. By selecting AC, a separate climate control tab is opened. Here you can turn on or off the climate control even if the vehicle is unplugged. You can also set up one climate schedule per week using the timer. Regardless of how a timer is set, all changes are updated in the app, the online scheduler, and the MMI. With three ways to set the preferred charging schedule, you have the convenience of being in control no matter where you are. It's just another example how the Audi A3 e-tron leads the charge in hybrid vehicles.